Good day, folks. Uh, once again, uh, for another uh, session uh, with uh, Fahad Beg. Fahad Beg is an IT uh, Agile project manager, and uh, we will uh, get to know about his story here in Canada. Uh, he works uh, as a consultant, keeps on traveling in the U.S. back to Canada and stuff like that. He will share how he has uh, progressed so far in his Canadian journey. Thank you. So, folks, we have Fahad Beg here. Uh, Fahad, can you start off telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Fahad, uh, and I am from Pakistan. Uh, I did my basic schooling from Pakistan and then I moved to, to USA for further studies, did my engineering from there, did my MBA. Um, I worked as a consultant in US for about five years before moving back to Pakistan. Uh, went back to Pakistan, worked for about five years and then uh, finally finally relocated to Canada in 2017. Um, and then uh, you know, I started off with Amazon, you know, I just picked up whatever I, I, that was coming to me. Uh, and then after I think three months working in Amazon, I, uh, I finally um, got a space, you know, to, to get a job into my own field. And then I um, joined US Bank as a contractor and I'm just still continuing over there as the Agile project manager. So when you, uh, when you moved to Canada and then you started working, you said you started working with Amazon. Uh, so how did, you, how did you execute that strategy? Uh, like what was your survival job strategy? So my initial goal was that I should not be exhausting my savings. Um, and then I picked up that job spe specifically on the weekends to keep my weekdays open so that I can focus and then continue my job hunt. And if I would need to meet people, if I need to do some networking, if I need to attend any interviews. So I deliberately kept my weekdays open. Uh, I picked up a job and then shifts that were only on the weekends just, you know, to keep the, you know, bills, bills paying and then do not exhaust my savings. So I, I did for about three months. And then people also told me that since you are coming in winters, this might be a dead time of the year for you to land into any full time job. So I said, okay, you know, let's just pick up anything that's coming my way. So Amazon was just started when I came to US. So then in three months, uh, and during those three months, what was your uh, active job searching strategy? How did you approach things? So I was constantly applying on LinkedIn, on all the um, online portals, um, Indeed, um, Monster. And then also the, the, the thing that I'd like to focus for everyone would be networking events. Like I used to go on networking events, uh, meet people, meet recruiters. So don't just email them. I would rather prefer them, you know, uh, just go and meet people. And if you um, if you see any of the networking events happening around in your community, join those. Um, do join the bridging programs that different uh, different companies, different different um, employment services offer. That's always a good starter. They can polish your resumes. They can they can tell you different things. They can um, even place you on internships at times. How, how do you compensate for the? Uh lack of Canadian experience that is mentioned a lot of times. Um, How did it, you compensate? I had a slightly of an edge since I've worked in US, mm -hmm. but then again, that doesn't guarantee anything. So um, I joined one of the bridging, bridging programs and then they were able to um, let me put their names, uh, use them as a reference, and then that eventually um, you know, made me land into a job. And then I, 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 I always used to quote them that, okay, you know, I'm working here or I'm getting trained here and then those people were you know really helping and getting a job so when you go to networking events what normally happens how do you approach people um, so first of all you just meet everyone and then you you pick at least three to five people that okay these are the folks that are from my field from my industry that I should be meeting that I should be talking about if there are any opportunities um, in their fields in their respective uh, organizations uh, talk to them about their expertise, tell them about your expertise, and then make sure you exchange uh, contact details. Either get their LinkedIn, get their phone, get their email, make sure you send your res resume, you follow up with them, and just keep checking with them if there's any opportunity at any time. Yeah. Given the, right now you're operating as an agile project manager, for all those people uh, out there who have been in the project management space, what is your recommendation? Um, so, you know, project management is a vast, is a, is a vast umbrella. Um, you can either focus on, on, on every, pretty much everything, you, pharmacy, banking, could be anything. Uh, but if you're specifically looking for the Agile, which is mostly into IT, um, I did a couple of certifications after coming back here. Um, that doesn't guarantee anything, but that helps. I mean, you can always quote yourself, yes, I'm certified in this and this. So that gives you a bit of a boost. So if you have time, if you have energy, I would say, you know, just, just get a couple of certifications in a rear belt, and that should be able to give you a bit of a booster. Okay, so if uh, so for PMP, uh, were you suggesting PMP, and then for Agile, which is which certification are we talking so, about? So um, let's say if it's a Scrum Master, you could yeah. be Agile practitioner, you could be a Scrum Master, you could be a product owner. Depends on which field, which side, which field you're working on. Um, I did a couple of Scrum Master ones, 
but you can uh, if you're just a practitioner you can just do agile practitioner perfect uh, one on a closing note what is the advice that you will give to all new immigrants uh, um one advice would definitely be um stay strong stay consistent uh and then depending on your mindset um pick up anything that comes your way don't don't just think and say oh, okay you know even if, if it takes six months i'll wait for the proper job or the job in my field um, if it's something coming your way just grab it even if it's part-time um, start your canadian experience somehow somewhere and we, we all start somewhere it's the first step just just take it start from somewhere thank you so much Fahad, for your time and uh, thank you folks uh, you. till next time